Scotland's first minister, Nicola Sturgeon, has announced that she would seek authority to hold a second independence referendum. Now, Sturgeon said she would move quickly to give Scottish voters the opportunity to choose if Scotland breaks away from the United Kingdom and becomes an independent country. I will well, now Richard... take the steps necessary to make sure that Scotland will have a choice at the end of this process. A choice of whether to follow the UK to a hard Brexit or to become an independent country, able to secure a real partnership of equals with the rest of the UK and our own relationship with Europe. So I can confirm today that next week I will seek the authority of the Scottish Parliament to agree with the UK Government the details of a Section 30 order, the procedure that will enable the Scottish Parliament to legislate for an independence referendum. Now, Richard Bestick joins us in London with more on this. Richard, as always, you're welcome to the show. What has been the reaction from UK Prime Minister Theresa May to this? Well, Theresa May has uh, reacted angrily, as you might expect. The timing of Nicola Sturgeon's announcement appeared specifically designed to cause as much difficulty for the Prime Minister as possible, coming on what looks certain to be uh, the uh, Prime Minister's big moment, finally triggering Brexit after last summer's referendum. May hasn't, though, specifically said no to the referendum demands, the independence referendum demands, but has accused the Scottish First Minister of playing political games. London, she said, would negotiate Brexit for all the UK. The last thing, though, the Prime Minister wants is to open up a second front while handling the huge complexities of Brexit and is unlikely to agree to an independence referendum this side of a deal with the European Union. It does, though, raise the spectre of not just getting a good agreement from the EU, a gargantuan task in itself, but at the same time keeping the country intact. Now, Richard, what are the possibilities of a second referendum uh, going ahead? Does Sturgeon have the support? That's a difficult question to judge. The arguments over uh, independence uh, is very much uh, re replicated in the last referendum not too long ago, um, that the they have problems establishing for themselves a currency. They have problems of establishing their own economy. That would it be viable, particularly with the uh, collapse in the price of oil? Remember, Scotland takes a lot of its uh, potential income from North Sea oil, and the price there has gone down. Whiskey and other delights uh, don't make it uh, enough uh, to be a viable nation, it's argued. No, the point here is probably largely political. It is throwing down a challenge to the uh, government in London at a difficult time when they will be confronted with the hugely complex issues of disentangling the British economy from the European Union after 40 years of membership. The British government in London simply hasn't got the time to open up a second front and begin campaigning in Scotland uh, for inde against independence. So perhaps what Theresa May will do is say, yes, uh, you can have a referendum, but not until we've secured a deal with the European Union. Uh, that would shunt uh, to the First Minister for Scotland into the long grass for a couple of years at least. Hmm. And Richard, let's just check in on that uh, Brexit. How close uh, is the UK Prime Minister Theresa May to triggering a Brexit? <laughs> And we're getting pretty. We're getting pretty close there. In that building, you can see behind me there, the uh, Parliament building. Uh, they're bashing on at the issue, trying to overturn objections raised by the upper chamber, the House of Lords. The government's expected to win the vote, uh, and then finally hand uh, to Prime Minister Theresa May the right to formally begin what will be two years of highly complex talks. The Prime Minister's office in Downing Street, though, is now suggesting the trigger will be pulled towards the end of March. 
rather than uh, in the next few uh, hours. It was assumed at one stage that it would be Tuesday, no longer. Questions raised. Did, um, did the uh, First Minister for Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, have a, a, a say in that, or at least did her announcement, her demand for independence uh, referendums uh, have a play, play a part in it? But anyway, they will then set in tow at the end of March uh, what will be the most difficult set of peacetime negotiations ever undertaken in the UK in modern history. Real worries here that the two years set aside for the talks won't be enough and Britain could crash out of the European Union with unpredictable economic consequence. But it does seem that the uh, UK is finally moving towards the exit and leaving behind after 40 years uh, the biggest and wealthiest trading bloc in the world, the European Union. Mm. Well, many thanks, Richard, for that update. Of course, Richard Bestick uh, joining us there in London.